Hi, this is a short demonstration of uh, Amiga OS 4 on my Amiga 4000. Let's see how fast uh, Amiga OS 4 boots on my Amiga. While it boots, I can tell you that uh, it's equipped with a Cyberstorm 060 and a uh, PPC CPU. Uh, it's clocked at 230 MHz. And it's got 128 megabytes of memory. It's also got a CyberVision PPC graphics card, a uh, network card, uh, Ariadne 2, and a Toccata sound card. So it's uh, it's loaded. I'm uh, running it off uh, the internal uh, hard drive controller, so it's not uh, SCSI. But uh, I think it's uh, it's fast, even though it's not running on this on the SCSI uh, part of the, the SCSI interface on the Cyberstorm. So let's see. Here we go. That was about a minute and a half. Let's see if I can find some application to show off. Here we go. You probably remember this program from 10 years ago. It's actually a favorite <laughs> of mine. As you can see, it's running. Ah, it's running kind of smooth. You can actually see the frames per second in this if you press. Uh, I think it's T. Yes, there, there we go. 15 FPS. I don't really know if that's good or not, but uh, I remember that it was. Uh, this was kind of slow on my A1200 I had it 10 years ago, but uh, of course I never run. Uh, I used to run a four-color workbench, so <laughs> it was smooth. Okay, not so smooth anymore. You can keep this running here and uh, see if you can find any other program. Uh, how about Direct Opus? That's our favorite program for many. Here we go. It looks as it used to look like. Unfortunately, I don't really like Direct Opus, so let's quit. Perhaps we can find any other program. I don't have a scan dubber or a flicky fixer in this machine, so I can't show you personal paint or uh, deluxe paint. But uh, we can start uh, Hippo Play. There we go. I guess most people are familiar with some play. Unfortunately, I don't have any sound connected to this Amiga, so we have to watch the music. Perhaps next time. So let's open up some scopes. There we go. That's the first one. So. Still your sponsor? Uh huh. Now it froze. Do I have to reboot? Uh, come on.
guess you shouldn't click that, <laughs> that icon. So I'm going to have to reboot. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, where were we? Uh, I was showing off uh, Hippo player, and uh, well, we can start it again. So there we go. Got some nice scopes. So, so you have to ima imagine the the module. <laughs> it's actually behind the walls. Very nice. If you want, oh. let's go on. We can close down this application, and we get the usual error, error message. It happens every time I close it. So let's check out some uh, some games. I have this old. Uh, WB Steroids. It's a classic game. I used to play this on my Amiga 1200 back in uh, 98 or 97 or whatever. I used to remember it was so slow on my Amiga 1200. But once I got a, a, zero, a 030, it, it was uh, it was a bit a bit more responsive. So in uh, Amigos 4, it's uh, totally 100% smooth, and uh, you have to wonder if they made uh, Amigos 4 just for this <laughs> this game. It seems to fit it fit uh, so well, and it's actually a quite good game. Uh, you should play this if you haven't done so yet. It's available on Am Aminat, and here's the name. It's a classic. Okay, let's close down with. Uh, we can look at a uh, demo. Which, uh, unfortunately, I haven't got any sound, but uh, can be nice to look at, anyways. Here we go. So oh yeah, let's see if I have my Amiga hooked up to the net. Let's start eyebrows. Oh, which didn't start at all. No, here it comes.
There we go, it's a bit slow because I'm running this demo in the background. Here's Aminet. Let's check out some more interesting links. How about my own site? Which is built on Drupal. It's a uh, content management system and I suspect it's not going to look nice <laughs> in the eyebrows and I was right but it's uh, it's uh, quite speedy and uh, it works it's great when you need to download files of the net you don't have to burn a CD or transfer it via, through the network. So that's my Amiga 4000 and uh, Amiga OS 4. Have a nice day.